Isabel Armstrong, she sang about faith. She says, faith that sees the invincible, faith that can touch the intangible, faith that removes the unmovable, faith that sets the cap. Free. Oh, faith. Without it, it's impossible, impossible to please, mm, to please the Lord. Somebody give God praise tonight for faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The musical heritage and the ministry tradition of the African American church, the black church, took part of his upbringing. The son of a pastor, he learned the ways of God and the role of ministry in the bosom of the AME church. That rich inheritance inspired his passion as a recording artist and songwriter while laying a firm foundation for his current work as senior pastor of the non-denominational Chicago area ministry, Victory Cathedral Worship Center. Music is an instrument of communication and an outlet of passionate expression, it says. It has always carried our messages, whether it's our heartfelt love or our desperate pleas for God's attention. How many of you know you can get God's attention when you praise? We are passionate people by nature. So the fact that music is such an effective vehicle for expression makes it a natural progression within our church experience. An award-winning songwriter. This man's admiration for the music of the African-American church goes deeper than the emotional impact of the songs. He is known to link the generations together, giving honor to the past, celebrating the present, and pointing toward the future. Please, if you will, welcome Pastor Smokey Norfolk. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, come on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Not for call and response, but literally praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let's exalt his name together. He is truly worthy to be praised. I am honored. I'm humbled. I'm excited to be here with my bishop, Bishop Blake and Lady May. Hallelujah. Truly an honor to be here with the people of God. How many of you are grateful for the blood? Anybody else grateful for the blood? (laughs) 
Hallelujah. Put me in the key. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God. but smoke it but I know all of the things he, he has done with his blood he has saved me and with his power he came down and raised me so for the rest of my life I'm gonna shout to God be For the things, for every door he's opened, every way he's made in my life. For the things, for how he kept me, he shielded me, he protected me. Good, Lord, you've been real, 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 real good. For, for every little bitty thing. Look at your neighbor and say, no one else gets the glory for what God has done in my life. It's the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in my eyes. I took God be the glory for the things that he has done.
get it? You're tired. You're tired? If you're not tired, then I need you to help me pray. Look at your neighbor and say it's a praise party. It's a praise. Hey, so hallelujah. 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 If you, what God was about to do in my life, you would be shouting for me. It's hard, but they don't know the hell you're coming out. They don't know the pain that you're being delivered from. They don't know the sickness that the devil has had on your back that God is about to heal you from. They don't know that you're about to walk into your new season. 2000 is going to be a new season for you. You gotta, you got a new kind of place for a new season. <laughs> to his name glory to his name I know who this is for tell me who can make a mountain move out of my way I just want to encourage you who can make a miracle because of my faith 
And I'm a testimony that when the doctor said no, God stepped in and still, oh, he still gave me a yes. And when I'm in trouble, he is the same one that helps me pass every test. God is able God is able I tried him and I know it I'm not talking about what I heard I'm talking about what I saw God is able Oh See, the, the problem with many of us, the reason we can't see ourselves in our new season is because we're blinded by our own sight. The Bible says we walk by and not by. One of the tricks of the devil is to paint a picture like it ain't going to happen. Like you're not going to get it. Like it's not going to be overcome. Like you'll never get out of it. Like you're less than, but the devil is a lie. He is a lie. He is a lie. I don't walk by what I see in my physical eyes, but I walk by what I believe in my spirit. And I believe the word of the Lord, which says I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. The suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory, 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 the glory. You gotta know that the glory is coming. And for some of you who are who are exercising extraordinary faith, look at somebody and say, the glory is already here. <laughs> yeah, I look different than when I came in. I thought I was coming for singing, but I came in and got more than I bargained for. <sighs> and I realize faith and understand that the enemy will tempt you. Uh, he'll try you. He'll, he'll give you opportunities not to exercise faith because he knows that it cuts off your blessings. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. So for everybody that's struggling with faith, God gave me a prayer some years ago. But I can't pray it for you. You're going to have to go for what you know. Some of y'all still leaning, leaning on him. I dare you to lay on him. I dare you to stretch out on him and call upon him tonight. Lift your hands like a little baby saying, pick me up, daddy, because I'm struggling down here. And with your hands outstretched, reach down in your belly and sing this prayer. I need you. Come on, I can't do it for you. You need it. Now come on. I need you. Come on, if you want God to do it, come on and ask him right now. Say, I need you. Come on, exercise your faith and believe it's already happening. I need you. already being worked out get to your mailbox it's already being worked out wait till you go back to the doctor he's already working it out and he knows that all things is ready yeah oh, 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 i don't want to wait another second or another minute jesus not an hour of another day Lord. this moment with my arms outstretched I can't speak for nobody but me tonight God I need you 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 to make a way as you have already 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 done so many times before yes you did sometimes through a window or a barely open door Father, we stretch. We 
who are not ashamed to call on your name, Jesus. Lord, we stretch. Yeah, Lord. We who are in need of a breakthrough, Lord. We who are in need of a blessing, Lord. Oh, we stretch our hands to thee. Please come and rescue me from my depression, Lord. From my heartache. From my haters. From my enemy, please come and rescue. Oh, from my sickness, hey, from doubt and confusion, from trouble on my job, Lord, please come and rescue. Because I need you right away. Oh, 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 oh. Some of you have been here. The agony of being alone. The fear of doing life on your own. And I can't be the only one, Bishop, that's had some tests and trials that God said only came to make me strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That feelings of guilt, hurt, shame, and defeat. Yeah. There have been ways of trials that beat up on me. But if you knew what I knew, if you seen what I've seen, you would already be dancing. You would already be shouting. You would already be praising. Because we know that in you, God, we got. I know this is Sunday, but can we play like it's Sunday morning and go back to Grandmama's way and just say, I need thee. Point to yourself and say, I Oh, come on, make it personal right now. Come on, yeah. every hour. Yes, I do. I need, oh, I need the, oh, some of you have been waiting right here. I dare you to point to yourself and say, oh, 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 oh bless. I can't speak for you right now, but I'm the one in need of a breakthrough. Bless me right now, right now, right now, right now. My Savior, my God, my King, my Lord, my everything. Oh, 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 oh. Lord, I come. Weary, wounded, beaten, battered, broken, and scorned. Here I am, Jesus. I come. I've been through the fire, made it through the rain, but I here I am, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I come. Yeah, I come. I come. Now, Psalmist says, I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. To yet praise him means I can bless him even though I don't see it. Yet. I may not be a millionaire, but I'm just not a millionaire. I may not see the manifestation of my healing, but it's just that I'm not seeing it. You may not have found your boo yet, but... Do I have any yet praisers here tonight that can praise him in advance? For what he's about to do in us with us. Oh no, yet praise. Yet, yet, yet some of y'all not expected much. Come on and yet praise him. Bishop, Lady May, you are inspirational to me in every single way. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. It is because of your service to the kingdom of God that young men of God like myself can carry the bloodstained banner and thank and praise God every single day with confidence that he is faithful that he is faithful I love you I love you anybody thankful for the blood come on help me sing this let's do this
He glorified me. Paid my rent. Yes, He did. I've been Because of Calvary, I've been made free. Despite my enemy. If my sins had their way, I never would have made it with a debt I couldn't afford to pay. He came and he paid it with the enemy said I couldn't. God said, go ahead, I got you covered. If I may, just take a moment. I have a gift, a Christmas gift for a bishop. And I know First Lady just walked out. Did she just walk out just a little bit ago? She had to, she had to leave. But I have a gift for you, Bishop. And um, this, is, this is something you can't get in the stores. <laughs> this is my latest DVD, I Never Lost My Praise. My husband produced it. He put his, uh, uh, invested his own money, his retirement money, to put it together for me. And this is our effort. Yes. Uh huh. And this is for you. Uh, and this is for First Lady. I want to give her, these are the Grammy classics. And I Never Lost My Praise. You can't get these anymore either. They're, <laughs> they're old school. Praise the Lord. I love you. I love you. And if, if it's all right with Bishop, I'd like to extend a, maybe if you haven't done all of your Christmas, you can pick it up. Those right there, the CDs are only going to be $10 tonight, all right? So if you ha- haven't done all your Christmas shopping, you want to give somebody a gift, the CDs are 10 and the DVD is just 15 I never lost my praise. God bless you. 
want to thank uh, this awesome, awesome, awesome choir, these musicians. I love you. Love you too, Jason. You are awesome. And thank you so much for inviting me to come back to this wonderful, wonderful ministry that has ministered to me down through the years. I can remember, oh, I'm sure it's been over 20 years when we were in the old church. Am I right? And the power of the Lord. And it's still falling. And I praise God. So just a little bit of this old school song. It's on, uh, I believe it's on my first live recording. Won me a Grammy. And my son wrote it. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on. Yes. Brother Calvin Rohn wrote this song.
Tremaine Hawkins. Listen, we're going home. This has been a fantastic way to celebrate Christmas. Thank you to Bishop Blake. Thank you to all of you. This choir is most awesome. That was amazing. Well, will you tell somebody I've got the victory? You may not get the gift you're expecting, but as long as you've got the victory, you're more than an overcomer. High five somebody say, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Come on. It's been a good evening. Right there, come on.
for you we appreciate you so much this is our sixth annual Christmas at the cathedral concert six annual six annual and how we thank God for you city of Los Angeles we thank you for your love and we thank you for your support we thank you for being here and each year you come and share your love with us as we share our love with you this is my, also my sixth year of being minister of music at this wonderful church. And over these awesome people, the West Angeles Music and Worship Arts Department, can you help me love them? Can you help me love them? I want to say how much I appreciate you and thank you for your love and your dedication. Week after week, Sunday after Sunday, you come beat up, you come bloodied sometimes, you come diseased and you come broken week after week and you give and you sow and you share and the Bible says that he won't forget your labor of love and I just want to say how much I appreciate you thank you you are a blessing to this great body week after week and I want to say how much it is an honor for me to labor with you can you show your love to the West Angeles Music and Worship Arts Department help me I love you I thank God for each and every one of you I have a wonderful staff, and I just want to just take a little minute. Will you help me just for a minute? I have a wonderful staff, a wonderful executive coordinator that helps me put this concert on week after week. Come on, take a seat just for a quick second. Quick second. Great staff. My executive coordinator, Brother Jonathan Coleman, can you help me celebrate him? Come on out here, Jonathan. Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Year after year, he helps us put this great night together. And I thank God for him, Sister Loretta Richmond as well, our new assistant um, that helps us week after week. I want to thank you, the West Angeles staff, this great church. Of course, none of this is possible without our visionary, our pastor, our bishop, our presiding bishop, one and only Bishop Charles E. Blake, Lady May. Yes, yes. Each year, year after year, they allow us to bring these great artists in and they allow us to have this concert for you, for the city, for the church, for the congregation. And this is just the beginning of the, the great events that this church uh, puts on uh, year after year. Of course, don't forget Wednesday night our, we'll be in our candlelight service with our, uh, with our bishop. Great night. Uh, how many of you heard Bishop on the radio on today? <laughs> awesome awesome I want to say how much I love you and appreciate you thank you Bishop for all of your love thank you uh, Lady Blay we appreciate you so much thank you for being here uh, are you going to be here next year come on are you coming next year well we love you and God bless you come on help me welcome our Bishop back to us on tonight come on Bishop Charles E. Blake as he comes to take us home I love you I'll see you next year bless you the music on the face of the earth let's praise God for him let me praise God for the best band on the face of the earth. Our entire music department, give them a rousing applause. Everyone will stand, please. Thank you so much, Tremaine Hawkins, Smokey Norfolk, Kim Burrell. Let's give all of them a rousing applause. And without an audience, all this would have been in vain. But you've been a wonderful audience on tonight and we've worshipped the Lord and we've been blessed by the power of the Lord and we've been encouraged to go on with the Lord all the way. Thank you, Sister Rita Womack, for your wonderful assistance tonight in this service. Let's praise God for her. Everyone is standing. There may be someone here tonight who does not know Jesus, who's not saved. We want to pray for you. We want to take you before the Lord and believe the Lord for your salvation. As the songs of joy have been lifted, there may have been no joy in your soul because you've been separated from the Lord and you need your sins forgiven. I'm going to do something very unusual tonight. All of us are going to pray the sinner's prayer. 
going to believe God for forgiveness and for mercy and for salvation. Please repeat these words after me. Dear Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for the wrong I've been. I truly want to be saved. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died for my sin. I believe he arose again from the dead. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you, Lord. I am forgiven. I thank you, Lord. I am saved. I thank you, Lord. I have new life. Give the Lord praise with me, everybody. Thank him for his mercy, for his forgiveness. I want to ask my bishop, the bishop of the first jurisdiction of Southern California, Bishop Joel Lewis Ely, to come and pray God's blessing on us as we leave the house of the Lord. I praise God for you, dear sir, and thank you. You've sat with us all night long, and we praise God for your presence and for your leadership. The bishop of the first jurisdiction of Southern California. He's my bishop in Southern California. Across the world, I'm his bishop. All over the world. Say a prayer with us, bishop. God bless you. Would you just get a neighbor by the hand and let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this great and glorious service tonight. Wherein you have been lifted up. And you have declared that wherever we would lift you up, you would draw all men unto yourself. We thank you for the leadership of this church. We thank you how that you have blessed and continue to bless he and first lady. We thank you for this service tonight for every artist. And now as we turn our minds toward home, give us traveling mercies. Let the angel of the Lord go before us, rebuking the hurt, the harm, and the danger. See us to our arrival safely and we'll give you praise. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and God bless you all. Solo, so oh, I'm sorry, you didn't. <laughs> How you doing? Good, man. How you feeling? You all right, Joe? Good. Thanks. Jason. What's up, son? Oh, you came out. You got him out of your perch. I can't believe it. I'll take my finger.